How do you generate a patterns number sequence when it has two or more given rules? For example, take the rule, double the number, and add one. You will learn how to generate number sequences of a pattern using two given rules by using a t-chart. Let's review. Steps and rules. Patterns are run by steps and rules. The pattern 2, 4, 6, 8. It develops from step 1 to step 2 to step 3, 4, and on and on through step 9 and beyond. Patterns have rules. This one is plus 2. The difference between step 1 and step 2 is the added 2. This is known as the rule. A common mistake. When generating a number pattern for a, a set of rules, don't stop at the first rule. You need to apply the complete set of rules to each step in the pattern. Let's look at what I'm talking about. So, patterns can have two or more rules. So, let's take the rule, double the step number, and rotate a shape a quarter turn clockwise. In step one, I double the number, becomes two, and we just start with our arrow pointing to the right. Step two, I double the two, and I get four. But I haven't done the second part of the rule, which is rotate the shape a quarter turn clockwise. It needs to rotate. Step three, I double it six, and it rotates. Step four, double four, get eight, and it rotates. Another way to look at these steps, rather than drawing every arrow and the number, is to write a t-chart. I have created a double t-chart. On the left is the step number. In the center is the result of the doubling, so it had double the step number. And then on the right I have the arrow direction. There's really there's two things that has to happen at each step. So step one, we've doubled, we have the two, and I show the arrow direction to the right. Step two, it's doubled, becomes a four, arrow points down. Step three, the number is a six, arrows to the left. Step four, double the four, it becomes an eight, arrow points up. Step five, I double the five, that's a ten, my arrow points to the right. Now I can start looking for patterns within my patterns. I notice as my step numbers grow by one, the results are even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and my arrows, they go right, down, left, up, right, and I notice that I have a repeating pattern within that. That's called the core of the pattern, and it goes right, down, left, up, and then I can see that it starts again with right. This information can really help me because as I look at step number six, I can say, hmm, what do I know about the other even numbers. I notice that step two, the arrow goes down. Step four, the arrow goes up. I can also notice my odd step numbers, the arrows are go either left or right. So when I get to step six, I can double the number, that's 12, and I know that my arrow will either go up or down. And here I see the other even number went up, so it goes to the right and it rolls down. So creating a t-chart can help me solve what the steps are, the results, and the arrows. I can look for patterns within patterns and quickly write out what the series of numbers would be for my pattern. For the six, I can see I made it, it made it work. So let's go back to that question that was in the beginning. The rule was double the number and add one. Using a t-chart, I can organize this information quickly and show the rule. So my step number goes on the left, and the rule will go on the right side. And the rule on this one is double the number. That means the number plus the number, then add one. That can also be written as two times a number, then add one. Step one, two times one plus one, which is equal to three. Step two, two times two plus one. Step three, 2 times 3 plus 1. Step 4. 2 times 4 plus 1. That is 9. Step 5. 2 times 5 plus 1. I see the answer is 11. When I look for patterns within patterns, I can see that while my steps grow by 1, 
two, three, four, five. The number plus number plus one pattern grows from three to five to seven to nine to eleven. So it's skipping two and they're all odd numbers. This is helpful because I can predict then if I am looking for even the twentieth step it will be an odd number. So let's look at number six. Step six, I know it will be an odd number and it will be growing by two so it should be thirteen. Two times six is twelve plus one is thirteen. Let's look at how this will appear as it's written in a number series. We'd have three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and then three dots. The three dots are telling the reader that I know this pattern continues on and on. It's infinite, but we're, I'm just stopping here. In this lesson, you have learned how to generate a number pattern sequence by using a t-chart.